The cultural center of the Philippines complex, also known as CCP complex, is an 88 hectare, 220 acre owned by the Cultural Center of the Philippines, CCP, located along Roxas Boulevard in Metro Manila, Philippines, most of which fall under the jurisdiction of the city of Pasay. Development of the complex was stalled until 2000 when the Philippine Supreme Court ruled with finality the CCP ownership of some 35 hectares 86 acres of prime real estate in the complex. The property is 62.4 hectares 154 acres of land, with the rest being occupied by the Government Service Insurance System, the Banco Central ng Pilipinas, and the Privatization and Management Office. It is part of Bay City, formerly Boulevard 2000, that spans 1,500 hectares, 3,700 acres of reclaimed land along Manila Bay, which is occupied by the SM Central Business Park, Philippine National Bank, S Financial Center area, and PAGCOR's Entertainment City, among others. Description. The complex is bounded by the Manila Bay to the north and west, the Philippine Navy Headquarters to the northeast, Roxas Boulevard to the east, and Jose Diocno Boulevard to the south. It is divided into two zones, the Art Zone, and the Commercial and Entertainment Zone. It features several brutalist structures designed in the 1960s and 1970s by Leandro Loxon, such as the Tangalang Pambansa, the Philippine International Convention Center, and the Sofitel Philippine Plaza Manila. Other locators in the complex include the Coconut Palace, the Manila Film Center and Star City Amusement Park. Buildings Tangalang Pambansa The Tangalang Pambansa, English, National Theater, is the flagship venue and principal offices of the Cultural Center of the Philippines. Formerly called the Theater of Performing Arts, it houses three major performing arts venues, one theater for film screenings, galleries, a museum and the center's library and archives. Tangalang Nicanor Abelardo, Main Theater Tangalang Aurelio Tolentino, Little Theater Tangalang Huseng Batchut, Studio Theater, designed by national artist for architecture Leandro Loxon, its design was based and expanded upon the unconstructed Philippine-American Friendship Center. The Tangahalan is a primary example of the architect's signature style known as the floating volume, a trait can be seen in structures indigenous to the Philippines such as the Nipa Hut. Being a work of a national artist, the brutalist structure is qualified to be an important cultural landmark as stipulated in Republic Act No. 10066. Tangalang Francisco Balagtas the Tangalang Francisco Balagtas, more commonly known by its original name of Folk Arts Theater, is a covered proscenium amphitheater is where popular concerts are usually staged. It has a seating capacity of 8,458 in 10 sections. The building was originally built to seat an audience of 10,000 and was commissioned by then First Lady Imelda Marcos in 1974 for the Miss Universe pageant, which was to be held in Manila. The theater was built in record time of 77 days in time for the pageant and was designed by Leandro V. Loxin. It was host to many popular musical acts of the 1980s onwards, including Puerto Rican group Menudo, British pop group Five Ive, Janet Jackson, Gary Valenciano and J.R. The Folk Arts Theater is also used as a site by different religious groups. Day by Day Christian Ministries, a large international religious organization, has leased the area since 2005. They have dedicated the theater as Bullwagen ng Panganoon, English, Hall of the Lord. The building is expected to be torn down in the future, subject to the development of the complex. Other buildings The CCP complex is also home to the following Philippine International Convention Center, owned by the BSP Manila Film Center, CCP Coconut Palace, GSIS Sofitel Philippine Plaza Manila, GSIS Expansion A comprehensive master plan for the development of the complex was unveiled in 2003. 
The plan would divide the CCP complex into six clusters, each of which will be anchored by a major building. First, the promenade, which will tentatively be named after Lucrezia Reyes Urchula, will include retail and other mixed-use facilities, as well as dock facilities. The second cluster will be the Arts Sanctuary, which will serve as the complex's cultural core. To be anchored by the Tangalang Pambansa, it will contain a new performing arts theater, the Artists' Center, a bandstand, the CCP's Production Design Center, as well as other open areas. The third cluster, the Green Zone will contain a mix of museums, parks with commercial and office spaces. Fourth, the Creative Hub Cluster, containing spaces for creative industries. Fifth, the Arts Living Room, envisioned to be a high-density, high-rise area that will house condominiums and similar residential projects. The final cluster, the Breezeway, will be located by low-rise, low-density commercial structures with seafront entertainment facilities. Covered walkways, plazas, and bicycle lanes are planned to connect the various buildings and clusters to ensure a pedestrian-centered design. The master plan is envisioned to be completed in four phases, from 2004 to 2014, 5 billion pesos will be needed for the plan's first five years, and another 8 billion pesos for the plan. S latter half. A design contest was held in 2005 to design the first two clusters. Three firms won for their concepts, Syndicated Architects, Manilang Tayagalano Architects, and JPA Buencelido Design. The concepts of each winner will then be presented to prospective investors and stakeholders for approval. In 2011, Leandro V. Loxon Partners, Architects won the design contest for the artists. Center and Performing Arts Theater, the two buildings that will anchor the Promenade and Arts Sanctuary clusters respectively. The proposed artists' center will house offices and rehearsal spaces for the CCP's resident companies, a black box theater and rooms for educational programs. The winning design is akin to a traditional Bajau village or a mangrove forest, with rooms and pavilions supported by slim pelotes. The proposed Performing Arts Theater will contain a 1,000-seat conventional proscenium theater and a black box that will seat 300 to 500 people. In contrast with the Tangalang Pambansa's massive travertine block, the facade of the new theater will be dominated by its main seating bowl clad in reflective material, evoking a wave rising out of the sea. On January 19, 2016, construction of a new black box theater started with the aim of eventually integrating the new structure into the proposed performing arts theater. Estimated to cost 50 million pesos, the new theater will be three to four times bigger than the Tangalang Huseng Batute, the current black box facility of the CCP. Notes References